And dozens of seniors in Kalamazoo are out of their homes tonight after a deadly fire at the Crosstown Parkway Apartments that happened this weekend. That fire started yesterday morning. One woman was rescued from her balcony and unfortunately she did not survive. 24 Hour News 8's Evan Dean is following this story. He has a report from Kalamazoo. For Francis Johnson, I couldn't believe it. That about sums up the past 36 hours. Johnson is among at least 170 residents who were forced to evacuate this apartment complex early yesterday morning after flames broke out high up and they weren't spared tragedy. One woman was rescued off her balcony but later died in the hospital. It's really sad. And the lady that stayed up there, she said she could hear hollering, help me, help me, help me. The community is now trying to rally around those displaced. The Red Cross was on scene just moments after fire crews, with buses ready to take those in need to the YMCA down the street. 108 ended up coming here. And out of the 108, uh, we fed as many as we could. We fed all of them that were here, and we provided shelter for 20 of the residents. Among those 20 is Johnson, who has nowhere else to go. Again tonight, she'll stay in the Y basement turned makeshift shelter. Apartment management is working to clean up the building and make sure it's safe before residents return home. They're hoping that can happen by the middle of this coming week. As for Johnson, she's grateful to have survived and grateful to get the help she needs until she can go home. We have got a roof over our heads, you know, go deep. We'll be thankful for that. In Kalamazoo, Evan Dean, 24-Hour News 8.